Hey everyone, my name is Stefan, a Pardot consultant here at Rotiv. Today I want to show you a quick example of how to use a CRM visible list that you create within Pardot. So you know when you create a list in Pardot for segmenting, you'll go ahead and click add list. You have your different you know, indicators, what type of list you want to create. But you also have that option at the very bottom, CRM visible list, right? So what is this? How is it used? Essentially, it's just a list that's going to be manageable on the Salesforce side. So if you've ever wanted to give your Salesforce users, maybe even sales reps in particular, the ability to you know, manage a part out list, add people and remove people, they can do that directly from a person's contact or lead page, just as long as you've chosen this option. You do have to do a couple of other things as well. You have to add a button to the page layout that says add to part out list, or you can add a visual force section to that page layout that says part out list membership. Um, they do the same options, right? They let you choose a part out list to add them to and remove them as well. A good use case scenario for this would be for some type of nurture campaign, right? People that have maybe shown interest in a product line or a service line that you offer, and you have a, an engagement studio already already created on the back end, you know, when when starting all of this, but you want to pump people directly into that nurture campaign. That way, they can start receiving those email communications. Um, again, it's letting your sales Sales Cloud users do this from Salesforce. Instead of getting marketing involved, they can just do it themselves. So it's really simple. Just you know, give the part out list a name, choose a folder if you'd like, and then just simply choose CRM visible. Now I've already done this. For the sake of this example, this is gonna be for a product A newsletter. So I've already created that. And I've also created an engagement studio called product A newsletter, right? Simply for this example. So if I'm a sales rep, and let's say, for example, I'm on the phone with, you know, a customer or a potential customer and they start showing interest about, you know, product A that we offer so much that I ask, hey, are, is, that, is that OK if I add you to this newsletter? Right. Because, you know, we send out emails on a weekly, monthly, quarterly, you know, however long basis in which we provide good content about product A. I think you'd benefit a lot, a lot from it. So, you know, the client says, yes, can you please add me to that? So as a Salesforce user, I can simply just go up here to the top right, click the drop down, click add to Pardot list, and now it's going to let me search for a list in Pardot. So I'll type in product, that'll bring up product A newsletter, I can select it and click add, right? Or I have the other option that I was explaining earlier, which is the visual force section within the page layout, right? And this option right here is going to let me choose from a drop down of all CRM visible lists in Pardot. And as you can see, we have that product A newsletter one that I just created. And then I can click save list and add this person directly to it. Now in Pardot on the back end, you have an engagement studio already created for this purpose, right? And as you can see, I've called it product A newsletter as well. And I'm using the list that says that's product A newsletter. So this means whenever somebody is added to that product A newsletter list, that means they're being added to this engagement studio, which means they're also going to start receiving all of the emails that are in this program. OK, now let's fast forward to the future. Let's say that, you know, the customer reaches out to me via email or maybe by phone and they say, hey, you know, I got all the information that I needed. You know, can you please take me off that list or, you know, I just want to stop receiving those newsletter emails. So. I can do that directly from a person's page, right? So I can just go down here. I can see that they're subscribed to this product, a newsletter. I can go ahead and let me just click that. I can see that they're attached to it by, by these X's. So if I wanted to remove them, I can simply just click the X next to product, a newsletter. And as you can see, it says removed product, a newsletter, meaning I've taken this person off of this list. And again, this is extremely useful for sales reps because they don't have to get marketing involved in this. They don't have to say, hey, can you remove this person from this list? They want to stop receiving emails. You know, a sales rep or a Salesforce user can simply do it themselves.